Hey everybody, another month went by, and you know what that means? It's time for, right? Stick around and find out. Hey everybody, Dave Edwards, Treasure Valley Dave here, and Marine, Treasure Valley Marine. And we are your great agents by your side when it comes time to buy a home, sell a home, or even relocate to the Treasure Valley. And if you're thinking about doing any of those things, you're gonna know what the market's doing. And Marine's here with the latest. Hi, Marine. Hi. So, is the market doing anything? <laughs> the market is always doing something. There you go, and you guys need to know about it. <laughs> that's right, that's right. And we could for sure see what we talked about last month that people took advantage of the lower interest rate. It dropped six, now from seven to six, back to seven. We could for sure see there was more action during that month where we were in the low six. Right, for like five minutes. Exactly. It's uh, some people, not everybody got a chance to lock in a good rate, but some people for sure took advantage of it. Sweet. And um, so we had a lot more activity. Is it slowing down? Do you feel that when rates went back up, people kind of pulled back? But pulled back for sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Dang. It's oh, a roller coaster. It is a roller coaster. Always has been a roller coaster, stays a roller coaster. It's real estate. And now we've, uh, it's been a week since the election. What kind of impact are you seeing? And then what do you feel will happen going forward? That's a good one. I think confidence is out there. Okay. People are pretty confident. It was, we had several people say, hey, we're going to wait after the election. And then I was like, okay, which outcome makes you move? Right. makes you move or which direction are you going to go and it was for everybody like yeah we will see ah. so we will see but i think it's confidence confidence in economy that makes people feel comfortable right interest rates affordability Man. different and you know there's something else on the radar that um i'm currently making a couple videos on home insurance and in idaho it's not that big of a deal our rates have gone up a little bit but um, we can still get insurance and it's not terribly expensive it's like i think the average in canyon county is 1100 bucks a year so that's not bad but in california um, almost 14 percent of all the transactions in the last year have fallen out because the uh, the people couldn't get insurance and i mean that's got to have a big impact on the market so it's like if you're in California and you can sell, this might be a good time to sell and then come up here and then enjoy, uh, I mean, normal things like where you can get insurance and yeah, interest rates are still a challenge, but yeah. So um, I did notice for our people that are a little bit more money conscious, so they don't have a huge, huge budget. Um, we do, I saw two places on your, your sheets that are under 400,000 and those aren't out in Parma or something. Those are right there in Nampa. Can exactly. you believe it? Yep. Yep. Wow. So uh, medium home price is still above 400 and those are under 400 as a median home price. I think that's amazing. Yeah. So, I mean, that could be a, a big part of your plan to escape. Or even if you're already living up here and maybe you're in an apartment or a rental and you want to move into a house. Yeah. There's a, and I just got an email today. We have uh, builders that are still offering thousands of dollars in incentives. Yeah, it was the interest rates, when, it was very interesting. I mean, builders for sure react to interest rates. Okay. And when we were in the six, they dropped their promotions a little bit, came back up, and then of course the holidays come. That's where the season, uh, people are thinking twice, do I really want to sell my house right now? Do I want to spend one more Christmas? in my house right but builders are still having inventory well, and, and they need to get rid of it this year they the, are motivated and they've got employees that they want to keep busy too so yeah. so i think builders are really motivated motivated to sell so you can ask for incentives you can ask for additional things and maybe price reductions right get those blinds or get a fence yeah. or something exactly never hurts yeah. to ask never hurts so We've been talking about Canyon County. What do you see going on in Ada County? What's going on in Ada? Yeah, it's uh, got to go on my cheat sheet here. What, what caught my <laughs> eye was Eagle. And you know, Eagle's a little hoity-toity. 
And the numbers bear it out. Yeah. What do we have? Median home price, $865,000. Man. That is a stiff mortgage payment. Right. But then I also noticed you can go right next door to Star, which has kind of that eagle feel because it's like by the foothills and you're paying quite a bit less. That's right. 571. And uh, yeah, it's on the, we say on the other side of the river. So that could be an option. Um, I don't, but Eagle is pretty nice. And, uh, you know, if you guys want to know more about Eagle, make sure you check out the video that I'm going to put up at the end that has Maureen and I walking around Eagle and she's showing us all the cool things that her and her family love about Eagle. Yeah. And I think from now on, like I said, inventory should be decreasing. And it's going to be more new construction on the market than we have existing homes. And that's the seasonal thing? That's a typical season. Um, if there is a seller out there, then there is a reason why they need to sell. So they could be more motivated this could time of be, year. Could be. We never know. But it could be. Um, yeah. I think that's what it, no, it's my favorite time to buy okay so what are you guys seeing i mean we're talking about interest rates and it's like everybody has a crystal ball and they're all unplugged it's like i don't know what's going to happen do you guys have a feel for what's going to happen um i know that trump's been making ovations towards maybe having powell step down from the federal reserve and so powell could throw a hissy fit and jack up rates and i don't know what's going to happen but i know right now they are what they are and if you can qualify to get into a house and interest rates come down, you can always refinance. Yeah. You know, so Maureen picked this great place right here for us to come shoot today's video. And it is spectacular. So obviously you guys are seeing the great mountains behind us, bogus basins over there. And it wasn't just a few days ago that this was the big old pumpkin patch. It's interesting in that they still have some of their stuff here from the pumpkin patch. They got flats of water. They're just sitting out. No one's stealing them. No homeless are setting up tents or anything like that. And, but uh, you know what? As a special bonus for you guys just today, we're going to take a quick look at what's behind the camera that you can't see yet. Let's go take a look. All right, Maureen, tell us where we are and what's going on around here. All right, we are in Orchard Park. Orchard Park is in Meridian. It's right off of Chinden and star road <laughs> now i had to really think about that one uh this here is a new awesome space that has been in the making for quite some time ah. so when i moved here in 2019 this was all a field we have a winko that's right over there but here is the brand new meridian library and it's a spectacular building I would say. Then it has a bunch of restaurants, new gas station, and this part here where the pumpkin patch was is supposedly becoming, um, it's called the barn. Several proposals, one of them was to have a wave pool in there. Wow. But it seems like they switched plans and with all the construction, everything, uh, inflation, let's just call it that way. Inflation kind of paused everything a little bit and they restructured. But I think so far as I know, 2026, the barn is going to be ready. Ah. Then there is a spot over there that's going to get like a little, um, like a little, it's like a little downtown with shops and okay um so yeah i i thought this is just amazing to see i have so many moms that uh, bring their little kids here for activities at the library right well this is a fantastic building too. it is so this is the spot here where it's going to become it's going to be called main street main street main street so it's like a little bit like the village oh yeah that's what the plan is to have it here so it's a mini village okay uh that's going to be planned here then we have housing townhomes on the other side right uh live and work opportunities over on this side 
Oh. So if you have like, uh, what shop could that be? I don't know if you're a crafty person. Right. Or you have a little boutique. You have your boutique on the bottom and you have upstairs living. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Whoa. And you got an awesome view and bogus. That's true. I <laughs> a mean, little it's bit of snow right already. There. That's a huge library. And this is not the only Meridian library. No, there is another one. Yep. Yep. That's the new branch. And then that's Winco over there. Yep. That would be your size, right? I need something you like that. Be. Yeah. <laughs> There's no question about that. Wow. This is pretty cool. And right over there is Paramount. That's right. That is a highly desirable community. Exactly. Yep. And all the streets are named after old uh, movies from the golden days of Hollywood. Beautiful. Wow. Well, hey, thanks for this tour. It's always nice to see uh, great growth going on. And um, I'm still amazed that there's no tents and homeless people out here. I mean, this is where if I was homeless, I'd be proud to live out here. Well, for a minute, because then they probably kick me out. But anyway, <laughs> hey, Marine. Thanks for the tour and thanks for the market update. It's very valuable information. And you know, if you guys are thinking about moving up here, give us a call, text, email, we'd be glad to help you. If you think about selling or buying, also let us know because uh, we can give you some great insight to help you figure out what your plan is. And like I said, check out this other video that has us touring around Eagle and then we'll see you guys on the next video.